Hello guys, you are welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, in this video tutorial, I will be sharing you some important skills related to Cobra Toolbox or Open Data Kit form. At the first part of the video, I will navigate through a form that I have created and show you the features. And later, I will show you how I have created those features. Now, let's begin. First of all, Let's see the question answer. Here, first question is Does your household own any cattle, goats, sheep, chicken, or fish that you use for food or farming or to sell or trade? This is a screening question. If they say yes, then you will go deep inside, and if no, then the question ends. I will be selecting yes. Now, second question is What does the household own? Is it cattle, buffalo, goat, beef, fish, rabbit, etc.? It is a multiple response question. If the respondent select or two or more choices, then these choices they are reflected in this question number three. If you select more, then the you can see the changes over here. If you remove this, just selected options are shown in the question. This is the feature. I will show you how to add this feature in ODK form. The next question is Have any of the following animals ever got ill? Yes, no, don't know. If they say yes, it is also another screening question. If they say yes, then select the animals that were ill. Here it is showing only the options that are selected over here. How can we do this in ODK form? I will be showing you later. If you select another poultry, it will be added over here and it's also added over here. Select the animals that will be. Let's select cattle. If you select cattle, then this section is repeated one time. If you select buffalo also, this section is repeated one for the cattle and another for the buffalo. And if you select another, then it is repeated inside this repeat group. You can see for cattle options, the only there are four options over here one, two, three, four options. But for buffalo, it is showing one, two, three, four, five, six options. That means, based on previously selected options, we can filter the choices. Now, let's explore how I have created this form and added different features in this form. I will be using Excel form for creating the ODK or Cobalt Box form. Here, this is the Excel file that I will be using. If you are using ODK form builder or Cobalt Box, then download the Excel file of the form and edit in that form. It will be super easy. Now, I would like to describe what I have created in this form. Let's begin with the basics. The ODK form or the Cobra Toolbox form in Excel format consists of three different boxes. One is the survey, another is choices, another is settings. Please be careful with the spelling of these three different sets. All should be in a small letter, survey, choices and settings. Under survey section, you will be adding the questionnaire, complete questionnaire. You will be specifying the type of the question. You will give name to each of the variables. You will add different settings, skip patterns, validations. You are doing the calculations, the appearances, etc. in the survey section. For the categorical variable, it can be either a single choice question or multiple response question. Here in the choices section, you will provide the list of all choices related to that question under the list name. Here, for example, first question is a yes no question. The option, possible option for this yes no question is yes and no. 
we have to select one between yes and no. So the type of the question is select one. And this is followed by the list name yes, no, bar one. It is the list name. So we will use this list name in the choices section and provide all possible choices related to that list name. For list name yes, no, bar one, there are two possible choices that is yes and no. They are specified in this way. We can add the value labels to each option of the choices here under name section. And list name is so important. Please be sure that the list name provided over here, they are correctly presented in the list name in the choices section. Here in the setting section, we will keep this empty for the right now. For multiple response question, here, this is the type of the question for multiple response question, and this is the list name. Under the list name animals, the choices are presented over here. Under the list name, there are seven choices cattle, buffalo, goat, pig, poultry, fish, and rabbit. First four rows are the metadata questions, they are captured directly. From the system of mobile phone or any applications you are using. The start, the type start and today, they capture date and time of starting the survey and device ID capture the ID of that device. Don't forget to add the name to these variables. The name of each variables need to be given so carefully. They need to be sort and informative. Otherwise, it is so difficult while exporting data into SPSS or STATA. Here, first question is the screening question, whether the household have any animals in their house or not. It is yes, no question. If they say yes, then we can go to another question. And if they say no, then end of the survey. So, this second question, we can enter into second question if they say yes. So, the value for the yes is 1. So, under relevant section, dollar middle bracket Q1. This is question number 1. If question number 1 is equals to 1, 1 means yes, then only you will come to this question. Otherwise, you cannot come to this question. This is the skip pattern. And second question is a multiple response question. Multiple response question and the list of the options are animals. Here the choices they are cattle to rabbit. In order to generate the list of the animals that we have selected in the question number two, we use a calculate type of variable and added the name to that variable as a animal labels new. And what we have done is we have concatenated all the selected options from question number two. Here, concatenate is the function. It is followed by a small bracket. And inside a small bracket, we have added different arguments. This is the first argument. Second argument is empty space. Third argument is this one. Fourth argument is this one. The each and every arguments they are separated by comma. First item selected will be captured by this one, and second item selected will be captured by this uh, argument. And similarly, I have added this for six up to six because there are seven options and it is starting from zero. And this will concatenate all the selected options and create a list. And in question number three, question number three reflect the list of the animals that are selected in the question. How is that possible? The list of the all selected are displayed over here in question number three. 
what we have done is we have specified the name of the variable over here instead of writing the name of the animals we have specified name of the variables that we have created before this is the name of the variables uh, where we have created the list of animals that we have selected so we have added these variables here be careful here what variables are added with a specific symbol here dollar middle bracket and inside middle bracket write the name of the variable this is the way we specify the variable inside the question this will reflect uh, all the options that are selected in this question and another question is question number four select all the animals that were in here the options that we have selected in question number two are only presented in question number four this can be done with a small function so in a choice filter add selected small bracket the variable q2 comma the name of the variable it will capture all the options that are selected in q2 and present in this question okay now if you select two animals in question number four then the repeat group will repeat for two times as we have presented earlier here are three animals are selected and the repeat are three how we have done this is inside the repeat begin repeat we have added the repeat count that is count selected question number four count selected is a function and dollar meter bracket q4 this will capture the number of items selected in this q4 and the repeat will happen that much times in this way we can specify the count of repeat its repeats are for specific animals so in order to get the name of the specific animals we will be using two calculate variables first calculate is to capture the name of the animal specific to its repeat we have selected multiple animals and the questions are repeated based on the selected animals so the first calculate will capture the name of the animal for each repeat and second will capture the levels of each animal here the first calculate the value obtained from the first calculate it is used in the choice filter and the value that is obtained in the second calculate it is used in the question question section while asking questions we will reflect the levels that is captured in second calculate and added them in the question in order to capture the name you need to specify a specific formula here this is the formula selected at question number four position minus one and for second calculate in order to capture the labels you need to have a formula in a calculation section that is this one it will capture the name of the animal for each repeats and place that we will use that name in the questions that make each question specific to the choice here we have added choice filter in the question in the question the the choices for the cattle are just four four options but for goat the choices are more than four 
we have specified which options are for which animals in the choices section here uh, for question number what treatment and who did for all these questions the buffalo buffalo it is in the level 2 so the options that are relevant to buffalo are quoted with the, the name of the value level of the buffalo so uh, the options relevant to buffalo they are quoted with 2 and the options that are specific to goats they are quoted with 3 it is these numbers are based on the name over here and for chicken uh, only these these options are selected and for rabbit these options are selected so after specifying all these numbers for each of these items you need to go to survey and inside the choice filter you need to mention that the cattle cattle in the choices cattle in the choices cattle in the choices is equals to is equals to this q animal list or buffalo in the choice is equals to animal list or uh, goats in is equals to in the animal list the similarly for all animals you need to add this it is for the choice filter and in question number six in question number six there is here this is the question number there is don't know and there are other options if a person select don't know and other options it is wrong so this can be captured this error can be validated using the formula here here constraint inside constraint if the selected item in the specific repeat is don't know and it is more than one if the count selected is more than one then it is not validated There is, it is wrong. So the question cannot go into another question. And skip is also present over here. If Q3, question number 3 is yes, then we we'll can only this question will appear otherwise not. Here, go into this link and open this link and browse the form. Go to browse and then go to form and open. Not implemented, that means uh, it is uh, already opened. I am saving this and closing this. I am selecting form and open submit. Here, the form is ready. Let's preview this. This is the form. If we select yes, then we'll get another question. If you select multiple items, then they will be reflected here. Uh, here, and then uh, if you say yes in this question then you will be asked another question based on the selected items over here if you select uh, one item the repeat is once and if you select two items the repeat is for two and the options for question number six and seven they are different for the selected items either cattle or poultry in this way we can create a advanced feature form for odk or Google Toolbox using Excel format and make your data collection easy. I will be sharing this template in the description below. You can use this template and practice on your own and make or use this type of features in your questionnaire form. And thank you for watching this video tutorial.